Hey guys, Professor Fat Shady from the University of Trials. Uh, I've had a request from Nathan Larby. Thank you for watching Nathan Larby. Uh, Nathan has asked me to do a detailed tutorial on Frostbite. Now this game came out a few years ago and I forgot to go back and do this. I did the second checkpoint, I think, but never made it. So I'm gonna skip over the second checkpoint Use the Pit Viper, of course, but I'm going to play through this now and see if I can do a bit of a detailed tutorial and explanation for how to uh, get through Frostbite. Now, with all my tutorials, I will try and break this down the simplest possible way. My objective here is to try and get you a bronze medal, nothing more, nothing less, and anything other than that you have to figure out yourself. Firstly, bunny hop, pretty straightforward. Now, you should be able to, with a little bit of throttle control, which is where you gently feather the gas, uh, hold yourself there, and I'm pretty sure if you just accelerate fully and lean forward, you hit the first checkpoint. Second checkpoint. Uh, this one is pretty much just accelerate very slowly, I'll be honest. You can do that and you've got through the checkpoint. Now, like I said, this run doesn't have to be pretty, you just have to get through it. So, sit down. 80-90% uh, throttle to get you over here. Make sure you land with your front wheel and rear wheel on the uh, slanted platform. I'd suggest that you land with your uh, front wheel slightly earlier. Um, and then use that bounce. Let me try that again. Yeah, use that bounce to get you up and over. Yeah, so land with your front wheel slightly early. Uh, compress the rear suspension quite heavily and lean forward and do a bunny hop. Now I've done, and I'll put a link in the comments to a detailed uh, like 10 minute video on just that jump. Uh, go back and watch it if you need more help. Um, for the next obstacle, pretty much, I'm pretty sure this here, so I just want to see. So that's just a straight bunny hop, but I want to see if you can go from here without having to do this. That's tough. Okay, so you have to do a consecutive bunny hop here. So again, the technique for a consecutive bunny hop, you bunny hop from this platform, you land with your front wheel slightly earlier while staying seated. So look, actually from a neutral position. So this is standing here, bunny hop, stay seated, and a second bunny hop. So watch it again, right? So you start from a standing position because that lets you load the rear suspension a little bit heavier. Uh, do your first bunny hop, stay seated, and do a second bunny hop off the platform. And just keep leaning forward and you should be able to lean up and over. So, one bunny hop, second bunny hop. A lot easier to do when you're not also doing the tutorial. For this obstacle, um, I would suggest, so you can see here, you kind of need to lean forward. Uh, sorry, you need to climb quite high. I'd always start leaning forward. It just lets you um, more uh, quickly rotate the bike as you're doing the bunny hop. And all it is, is that. So, start from leaning forward, lean back, and then up and over. All right, and you just have to use your brake. See how there's there's almost and there's only just enough room for you to get on here. So just use your brake to get to this point. Um, once you're up on this platform, you want to do a little cheeky bunny hop, but keep yourself. And this that's tricky if you go too fast because you'll bounce back into that gap. Get yourself into a seated position. Use your throttle control to stay in one spot. Roll towards the back, and then when you get to right towards the back, you want to lean backwards. Uh, to lift your front wheel in the air and then quickly lean forward. So you get your front wheel, completely avoid the vertical object. As soon as your front wheel hits the vertical object, you'll probably fault. Uh, you want to do a bunny hop, just hit your rear wheel onto that angled platform and lean forward. So watch this again. There you go. If that didn't make sense, um, go and watch the third last checkpoint on Rock of Rages. I think uh, there's another tutorial I've done, and I think that'll teach you in a bit more detail. Um, by all means, with any of these uh, tutorials, let me know in the comments if it doesn't make sense, and I'll go into more detail for you. But hopefully, Nathan Larby, this is good enough. So from here, uh, I would actually just suggest you get into a sort of leaning forward position and just accelerate full speed. This one... That's the technique you want to use. Um, so what I would say from a neutral position, so this is standing on your bike, uh, you want to lean forward, right? So you kind of want to lean forward so your rear wheel uh, lifts up, sorry, so your front wheel lifts up as you make that transition to the slanted section. And you want to do a bunny hop from quite low down. If you try and go up here and then do a bunny hop, your front wheel hits the overhang. So you'll be surprised how much uh, ex like acceleration you get from that rear wheel. So you want to do your bunny hop from quite low down. Uh, because that, and like I said, from a neutral standing position, uh, drive into this, lean back, bunny hop, get your rear wheel out of the way. Um, so it's sort of, you know, 
back, forward, back. You want to get the rear wheel out of the way, and then once you get up here, lean forward again, and then it's the throttle control to hold yourself in position. So I'll do that once more. Neutral position. You know, back, forward, back, and then catch the rear wheel. I mean, it's, it's tricky. I mean, it's an extreme track. It's supposed to be hard. And then from here, throttle control, get a good run up, and it should just be a full, yeah, just full acceleration. From here, it's quite a high bunny hop, but it is only a bunny hop. So what you want to do is start from a leaning forward position, because this will help put the maximum load on the uh, rear suspension. Uh, you want to lean backwards. You want to dig your rear wheel into that obstacle and then uh, bounce up. Uh, the next thing you want to do is just accelerate 30, 40% maybe. And then it's exactly the same as the last obstacle you just did. So from a leaning forward position, you want to rotate backwards uh, and you want to hit your rear wheel into the vertical section. And then it gets you up and over. So lean forward. Yeah, dig that rear wheel in and you're up to the platform. Uh, this one is just a regular bunny hop. Steady yourself down here. Now with this, I want to see if you can do this without. So, okay, so it's quite a steep slope, right? The throttle control is key. Okay, so that is just... Okay, standard bunny hop there. As gently as you can through that transition, because it's quite a steep curve. But then from here, so what, what I'm doing at the moment, probably holding gas at like 30%. As I climb the hill, I want to watch my front wheel so it doesn't lift off the ramp. But I want to gradually go from 30 to 40 to 50, 60, 70%. And by the time I get to the top... Yeah, see, see if I... If I if I do it too quickly, my front wheel lifts off. So it's about how gradually, right? So hold it really gradually to get yourself to this point and then accelerate at a point where it's, the front wheel stays down and only when you get right to the top, you'll be at probably 80, 90% acceleration. Firstly, to clear the gap, it's a big gap. You want to start ideally from probably a neutral standing position and just a strong, confident bunny hop and your back wheel will get into the right spot. That's the first part of the technique, all right? Now, you can hook your front wheel on here. Now, I want to see if I can do this. Because if I can hook my front wheel there, all right, and see as, see as I lean backwards, the front wheel lifts up? I'm going to try and use that to my advantage. So again, this isn't how to do this quickly. This is how to do it consistently for people struggling on this extreme track. So if I time this correctly, when I roll backwards, my front wheel should lift up. So I'm going to try that. There. So that to me is a consistent technique. Big bunny hop here, hook your front wheel over, hit reverse. Yeah, and that will get me onto this platform. Then, so at the moment I'm using gas to steady myself. So if I just wanna let go of the gas just slightly until the rear wheel lifts up and then a bunny hop. Super, super consistent that way. I just figured that out. Um, with this one, right? You'll see here, if you if you land down the bottom, you don't get enough clearance. And some people might find this frustrating. The technique I use, and it's actually cool to just practice your endos as well. I get right to the edge with my front wheel and lean forward like that, all right? And look how easy that was. So much more height. Because what you want to do is use all of the ramp. They've designed it. So if you even get a little bit of air off here, look, you land flat and you can't make the jump, okay? So break here, lean forward. Keep your, so manage the angle of your bike to ensure that you land on that downward slope and use the maximum amount of that ramp as you can. So lean forward, back, and then a massive bunny hop, and it's super easy. Now this is like that checkpoint we did earlier on in the game, but instead of there just being an overhang, there's a gap and an overhang. But the technique's the same, right? All you do, I think for this one from a seated position, lean back, and it's just a more confident bunny hop, all right? Um, so I'll try it from a standing... Actually, that's probably even easier. From a standing position... Um, so again, you don't want your rear wheel... Oh, sorry, you don't want your front wheel bouncing off this ramp here. Because as soon as, as soon as your front wheel bounces off there, you flip backwards. So as you tra transition from this flat section to the ramp, you want to be leaning backwards. Okay, so standing position, you lean backwards... And then flick forward like a bunny hop, right? But remember, you want a bunny hop from quite low down. Don't try and get to don't don't wait till you get to the top. <laughs> Actually, you can, but ideally try and stay from 
bunny hop as low down as you can and the key thing is sit back on the bike right so it's a three step section it gets back forward back and when you do that last back your rear wheel gets out of the way and then you've got to patiently just wait until your back wheel gets up on the ledge and then only when your back wheels up onto the ledge lean forward steady yourself accelerate and track done so nathan larby i hope that helped uh that was kind of my few minute 12 I always take too long for these things. Uh, that was my little overview of Frostbite for you and anybody else who has picked up the game more recently and is still struggling with the Frostbite track. If there's any techniques that I've covered or anything that I've skimmed over here you want me to go into more detail, uh, let me know in the comments and I will happily revisit this in the near future. Thanks again, Nathan, for the request and for everyone for watching. Cheers. Bye.